Hi guys, I'm QS and this is a very very quick and easy tutorial on how to render passes out of Maya and how to composite them in After Effects. So this is a basic scene we have here. You can download this scene from CG Talk. Uh, it's called the Science Fiction. So this scene only contains um, point lights, spotlights and just the normal shaders as you can see over here. It's going to be just Fong, Lambert, and some Blin shaders. Okay, so um, nothing special to this scene. So let's take a look at um, the render settings. Okay, if you click this button over here, okay, it will bring up the render settings. For me, I'm using Mental Ray, so you can select it over at this drop down box. Okay, if you head over to the Passes tab, that's where you can assign passes to your render layer. So, first thing we need to check, okay. We need to make sure that master layer ex is um, active, and yes, this uh, green icon over here. Okay, so make it active, and then now we are going to add passes to our render layer. Okay, to do that, we just need to click this button, create new render pass. Okay, so if you click this, you'll bring up um, a window with a lot of um, rend uh, passes that you can uh, assign to your layer. But as an artist, we don't need every single um, pass to composite because that's going to uh, be way too much control. Okay, we usually what we need is just uh, the few basic uh, passes. Okay, so let me run through. Okay, let's say if you use okay, let me bring up one of the shaders. Okay, let's say if you use um uh if you use ambient color, okay, let's say you use a little bit of ambient color in your scene you will be needing the ambient pass okay so diffuse pass belongs to um, the color so whatever uh, color maps that you are using okay make sure you render out the diffuse pass okay this is for most cases you will definitely need the diffuse pass okay for this scene my lights I use the uh, incandescence so I will need an incandescence pass okay I also used um, final getter which will come up in the indirect pass okay and reflection pass basically means um, let's say you have some uh, blind shaders and they have um, reflectivity turned on okay so things like fong shaders as well okay sometimes uh, you need this uh, reflectivity so it will go into the reflection pass okay shadow pass Okay, that's um, that's uh, the shadows that are created by the lights will come up in the shadow pass. Okay, and for specular, it uh, belongs to the specular color of your shaders. Okay, usually, um, fong shaders, blind shaders. Um, sometimes you'll be using the specular um color. Okay, so that that goes in the specular pass. And basically, we just need um these few passes to, um make the image work okay so uh, if you take a look there are so many other sh uh, passes you can feel free to explore them but for this tutorial we'll only look at uh, these passes okay there's one last uh, pass that um, I feel is quite important which is the Z depth pass okay Z what does this Z depth uh, do it gives you um, a pass a map that you can use for your um, camera lens blur which means you can do a uh, depth of field uh, blur to your final image so um, how I do that is I created a new layer okay got the I rename it to Z depth okay basically how you create a new layer you just need to click this button over here okay but before you do that you need to select um, the scene the objects that show up in your scene and click this button so you will bring up this uh you bring up a new layer okay you can rename it to z depth okay okay what i do here is um i went on to um the attribute editor okay i select the pass uh, i mean the layer okay the z depth layer okay i go to presets and there's this um luminance depth okay this preset will automatically um, set up the Z depth pass for you and it will actually uh, switch to Maya software to do the job 
okay so if you want a sharper um, um, Z depth pass you just need to uh, switch the quality settings over here okay so that's simple and we have our two layers okay so um, what we need to do now is just to go under rendering and just um, render batch render okay um, I'll see you over at After Effects alright here we are in After Effects so um, we just uh, batch rendered those um, passes okay this is what we end up with okay let's take a look um, this is our diffuse pass and basically it only contains the material color okay we have specular pass okay, which is the um, specular color of the objects okay so um, and this is our ambient pass okay there's not so much that you can see here so don't worry about it okay incandescence okay indirect pass which is the the final getter okay reflection pass as you can see here okay this is the shadow pass okay don't uh shadow pass is um uh it doesn't show up like this it's supposed to be um composited uh, on a different mode so don't worry about what you see here okay and of course the Z depth pass okay so let's start with the diffuse pass okay this is a very very quick tip okay for all the passes that contributes more color to the image it's always going to be uh, an add operation okay so let's say um, for specular uh, for the specular pass Okay, let's say I want to co um, composite this over the diffuse pass. All I need is just to do a add. Okay, it will add over what you have in your diffuse pass. Okay, we do this same step for all the passes that are contributing um, more color into the scene. So we can um, do it to the ambient pass, incandescence pass. Okay, indirect pass, reflection pass. Okay, and that's it. So these passes contributes more to the scene. So it's going to be an add operation. Okay, for the shadow pass from Maya, you will need to use the dif difference um, uh, mode, blending mode. Okay, so that you can see the shadows over here. Okay, so as for the Z depth pass, um, it's slightly more steps to do it, but it's still simple. Okay, so firstly, we create ourselves an adjustment layer. So uh, what we do is we come to layer new adjustment layer. Okay, click this, and you have a adjustment layer. Okay, so um, come up uh, under the uh, uh, effects tab. You go to blur and sharpen camera lens blur that's what you need okay click this okay um, it will bring up this um, under effects control camera lens blur okay so how do we set this up okay firstly we need to select the layer that is our ZDEV map okay so under layer we choose ZDEV okay so now if we turn on if I turn on um, my adjustment layer you can see that the depth of view is working okay one additional step you have to use is make sure the invert blur map is turned on okay because by default um, the z depth pass that comes out of Maya is um, inverted uh, uh, in relation to the after effects camera lens blur so you have to invert your blur map and that's basically about it so you can do further color correction if you want using the After Effects um, um, effects tab and that's all the color correction it can do and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope it's useful for you um, please send me any requests that you need um, or you can simply leave a comment uh, down below I'll see you guys next time in my next tutorial